Maybe you're falling short because you're running from the questions that you need to ask yourself. Maybe you're not taking time to self-reflect. Maybe you're not meditating. Maybe you're not spending time with yourself because you're afraid of what the answers will be and what will be exposed when you do. Why haven't I been able to create the life that I wanted? Why haven't I been able to achieve that dream? What's been holding me back? Who do I need to become to achieve and get what I want in life? These are some of the questions that you can ask yourself and then you have to listen to those answers and then take action. Have the discipline to follow your curiosity. Most of us think about something, but we never take action on it. It sits in the back of our mind for years and years and years, and we just don't take enough action. You gotta think about the people that you're spending the most time with. Are they holding you accountable? Are they encouraging you? Are they holding you back? Are they very negative? You have to think about that and you have to be real with yourself. Welcome back. Today we are diving deep into how to unlock your inner champion so that you can start creating the life that you dream of. We all have untapped potential within us. We all have something special. We all have something that needs to be unleashed. But the question is, how? How are you going to get that done? Well, today I am going to give you five keys or five principles to unleash your inner champion. Key number one, you got to create a life vision. Life is a journey and each of us has an opportunity to live our destiny, but it starts with a clear vision of your life. Now, you may be thinking, I don't even know where to start. Don't worry. I got you. Look, let's try this really quickly. I really want you to tap into this exercise. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about something that you really, really want. Think about something you've always dreamed about. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What are you doing? Who is there with you? Are you traveling with your family? Are you laughing and joking with your friends in your dream home? Are you meditating on the beach in Thailand? What are you doing right now? And how does that feel? Now open your eyes. That is a vision for your life. You are starting to create your aspirations. How did that feel? These are the feelings and the emotions that you have to hold on to because that is a glimpse of your dreams that you can make into a reality. This is something that you have to do regularly, right? It takes time to start to imagine and to dream about your destiny. But then once you start dreaming, you got to start taking action every day. So what are some of the things that are really important? Well, maybe you start with a vision board. You get pictures of images and words of everything that you want in all areas of your life and you put them in a place that you can see them every day. Or maybe you start with visualization. You do an activity like this. You close your eyes. You think about that big dream. You think about that perfect day. You think about what you want. How do you feel? Who's there with you? You think about all of those things. You think about you taking action to make it happen. You think about the potential roadblocks along the way and how to overcome them. That is how you visualize. Key number two, it's all about self-discovery. I want you to understand that you have the power to create change in your life. You have the power to create anything that you want, but most of us live our lives in mediocrity. We live in the middle. We play up our limitations and we forget that we are limitless. You don't have to settle for living life in the middle. You have greatness within you, but you have to reach for it. So this key is all about helping you to increase your self-awareness and encourage you to do more self-reflection because that's going to give you deeper insight into who you are, what your mission is, and where you, where you exist in this earth. But let's be honest. How often do you stop to think about these things? How often do you stop for self-reflection? Probably not much or rarely at all. And I get it. It's no judgment at all. But I realized through my own journey that self-reflection can be very powerful. I learned that I have to start asking myself difficult questions that I was running from because they gave me the answers that I needed. And maybe it's the same for you. Maybe 
you're falling short because you're running from the questions that you need to ask yourself. Maybe you're not taking time to self-reflect. Maybe you're not meditating. Maybe you're not spending time with yourself because you're afraid of what the answers will be and what will be exposed when you do. But you need to spend time with yourself every single day, even if it's journaling, writing down your thoughts. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's just sitting, listening to music. Maybe it's just asking yourself powerful questions like, why haven't I been able to create the life that I wanted? Why haven't I been able to achieve that dream? What's been holding me back? Who do I need to become to achieve and get what I want in life? These are some of the questions that you can ask yourself. And then you have to listen to those answers and then take action. You have the potential to unleash that inner champion, but you got to ask yourself questions. You got to pause for self-reflection. Now, look, before I get to the third key, if you are loving this content, please subscribe to the channel. Number three is giving yourself permission to fail. You face struggles, self-doubt, setbacks, and moments when you just didn't know what to do and you gave up. But we have to understand that failure is a lesson. Failures give us information. You were born with a champion inside of you. You were born to be resilient. You're creative. You're resourceful. So in life, we cannot be afraid to fail. We can't be afraid of embarrassment. We can't be discouraged because we failed. And for most of us, failure is final and it just holds us back and we can't bounce back from the setback. Embrace failure. It's not about how many times you fail. It's about how many times you get back up. Your setbacks are just a setup for a comeback. You have the opportunity, the ability to bounce back. And when you think about any successful person that you know, I promise you they've had challenges. I promise you they've had setbacks. I promise you that they've failed. They have all failed along the way. Whether it's your heroes, whether it's people who inspire you, they bounce back. They embraced failure and they took that information and they used it to become successful. Whether it's people who changed the world like Martin Luther King or Mandela, Elon Musk, anybody that you can think of has had major setbacks, but they bounce back. They use the setback and they figure out how to use it to better themselves. Number four is all about curiosity and creativity. See, you have to learn to have the discipline to follow your curiosity. Most of us think about something, but we never take action on it. It sits in the back of our mind for years and years and years, and we just don't take enough action. If you're curious about something, if you want to know how to create a better life, if you want to know how to create that dream business, how to take care of your health, how to have that amazing relationship, you have to act on your curiosity. You cannot worry about failure. You got to have the discipline to act on your curiosity. And many of us just don't. So I want you to be curious, but act on your curiosity. Key number five, the fifth and final key is all about your life support network. Now, look, I'm not talking about the life support network like when you're in the hospital and they're monitoring your vitals and your heart. I'm not talking about that. However, it is a little different. But this life support network is all about the people that you surround yourself with. As you embark on this life changing journey, this journey to find out who you are and why you're here and to use your talents and gifts, you have to build a strong support system, whether it's mentors, family members, people who are going in the same direction you are going. You have to be around people who are positive, people who have goals and dreams, people who hold you accountable, people who believe in you, people who encourage you. You cannot spend a majority of your time with negative people because they are going to suck that energy out of you and discourage you from doing bigger things in your life. So when you think about the people you spend the most time with, and this is going to be very challenging, are they helping you to get towards where you're trying to go or are they holding you back? Now that's a tough one. Family members, friends, your partner, your children, 
coworkers. You got to think about the people that you're spending the most time with. Are they holding you accountable? Are they encouraging you? Are they holding you back? Are they very negative? You have to think about that and you have to be real with yourself. And if the people that you're spending the most time with are very negative and holding you back, maybe you have to put some distance between you and them. Seek out coaches, mentors, communities where people are going in the same direction that you're going. I know that's some hard truth, but maybe you need to hear that right now. Maybe you know every time that you tell a certain person your goals or dreams, they're very negative and they talk you out of it. So you need to be aware of that and put distance between you and people who are holding you back. Look, I understand what it's like, but you have to know that you are worthy of everything that you want. You have a champion inside of you. And sometimes people are blocking you from getting there. I believe that you are capable of so much more in your life. I believe that you have greatness within you. You have so much more potential. Now is the time for you to unleash and unlock that inner champion. Now look, if you need some help unleashing your inner champion and creating the life that you want, I have this book called You Have the Keys Now Drive. You can grab a digital copy of it. Just click the link in the description and it may just be what you need to help you start creating your dream life. Now, if you loved this video, check out this one right here.